Welcome! My name is Greg and my goal is to help you improve your bird identification skills. Today we're going to be comparing Northern Mockingbird with a similar looking bird, Loggerhead Shrike. This is an identification challenge faced by bird watchers anywhere in the lower 48 states, especially in the southern portions. Grab your favorite field guide and let's get started. Both northern mockingbirds and loggerhead shrikes are about the size of American robins. They are gray with black wings and tail. In flight, both species show white wing patches and white outer tail feathers. Let's take a closer look at northern mockingbird. We start, as always, with size and shape. Northern mockingbirds are long and lanky. They have a long, thin tail. The head is small in comparison with the rounded breast and shoulders. The bill is short, only half the length of the head, thin and slightly down curved. The overall color of mockingbirds is gray. The upper parts are brownish gray. The under parts are paler, but not starkly white. The wings are blackish with gray feather edges. The two white wing bars are fresh in fall, but worn thin by summer. In flight, the dark wings contrast with large white wing patches at the base of the primaries. Likewise, the white outer tail feathers contrast with the blackish tail. The shape of loggerhead shrikes is thick and stocky. The head is big and merges into the body without showing much of a neck. The tail appears medium long and broad with a rounded tip. The bill is short and thick. Loggerhead shrikes in California are a bit darker above and grayer on the underparts. Even with this dark gray back, there is still strong contrast between the black wings and the white throat and undertail. They are black and white with a gray back. Loggerhead shrikes have a black facial mask from the bill back through their ear coverts. In flight, the wings are black and show small but obvious white wing patches at the base of the primaries. The white outer tail feathers also contrast strongly with the black middle of the tail. Equally important as to how a bird looks is how it behaves, how it sounds, and where it lives. Northern mockingbirds perch in the open. Their posture is quite upright. When perched on a wire or limb, they often drop their tail down. When they hop on the ground to forage, they often cock their tail high in the air. They are solitary for the most part, forming pair bonds in spring. They feed on berries, so they are often found deep within the upper part of fruit-bearing trees. In flight, they flap their wings with deep wing strokes, showing off their white wing patches and tail edges. Flight is rather slow, buoyant, and steady. Mockingbirds sing from conspicuous perches throughout the year. They sing loud songs composed of short phrases, usually repeated three times. These phrases are often excellent imitations of other birds' songs. They seem to have an unlimited repertoire. After they sing one song phrase a few times in a row, they don't go back to it anytime soon. They seem to sing every bird song they've ever heard, as well as mechanical noises such as car horns and cell phone ringtones. I've even heard a song imitating a pull start lawnmower with two false starts before running. Northern mockingbirds are year-round residents across the southern half of the United States and up the east coast. They also may be partially migratory. In spring, some birds rarely show up across the United States into southern Canada. These birds are found in suburban yards and brushy fields, including deserts. They perch on treetips, utility wires, and fence lines. Loggerhead shrikes tend to perch horizontally, usually on conspicuous perch or wire. Their legs are short. They often crouch low when perched. As with mockingbirds, shrikes are usually solitary. Loggerhead shrikes are predatory. They feed on small mammals and birds as well as large insects. They hunt from perches, dropping on their prey. They sometimes impale their food on thorns or barbed wire. The flight of loggerhead shrikes is quick and direct. They flap rapidly, hugging the terrain for short flights. They drop down from a perch and fly low, swooping up at the last minute to their new perch. Longer flights are undulating with a rapid flurry of wing beats. Calls are rough and grating. Songs are soft and slightly warbly. Loggerhead shrikes are year-round residents across the southern half of the United States. 
They migrate in spring into the Great Basin Desert and northern Great Plains into Canada. Spring migrants may be found anywhere in the lower 48 states, though quite rare in the northeast. The habitat of loggerhead shrikes includes sh shrubby prairies and deserts. They like agricultural lands and roadside hedgerows in grasslands. They perch on isolated trees, cacti, utility lines, and fence wires. Northern mockingbirds and loggerhead shrikes are similar in their appearance, range, and habitat. If seen closely, the black mask of the shrike clinches the ID. Plumage contrast, shape, posture, and flight style will help with identification if your view is less than ideal. Is there a species identification or confusing pair of birds that you would like to see covered next? Let me know in the comments. I'll create a video to answer your question.